in the past 10, 20 million years ago, in the Miocene epoch, the global climate was much warmer than it is today. The continents of the Northern Hemisphere were covered by vast subtropical and tropical forests. Subsequently, the climate cooled down and this cooling culminated in the Ice Age of the Quaternary period. As a result of this climate change, plants had to adapt, if possible, to migrate or to face extinction. Some of them managed to survive in so-called refugia. Refugia are isolated regions with a special topography and a special climate, and they allow plants to survive. Worldwide, there are not many of such refugia. So, the mountain chains adjacent to the south shore of the Caspian Sea with their Hyrcanian forests are quite unique. From the biogeography and biodiversity point of view, the most interesting fragments of the Hyrcanian forest occur in Talish Mountains, which is the southernmost part of the Azerbaijan. Due to the unique topographic, geographic and climatic situation, uh, but especially due to warm and humid climate, the Talish mountains uh, possess the highest concentration of relic species uh, in the whole Western Eurasia, including many emblematic relic genera as Parotia, uh, Gleditia, Zelkova or Albizia. Many of these species are at the same time uh, endemics, not only relic species, but also endemics, most precisely paleoendemics, because they survived the last ice ages uh, only worldwide, only in the Hyrcanian forests of Iran and Azerbaijan. For example, Parotia persica, Gleditia caspica, Acer velutinum, or Quercus castanefolia. All these relic trees provide a unique opportunity to study and to understand many biogeographic and evolutionary processes. It's why uh, the Talish Mountains and its relic trees, uh, they possess an enormous conservation value, probably even at the global level. <laughs>